Hey what's up guys welcome to the channel my name is Miro and today I'm gonna be showing you our top takedowns from February 2022 and don't forget to watch till the end because I saved some really good ones for the ending so let's get started with Caribbean Aversicolor. Caribbean Aversicolor is one of my favorite arboreal spiders. That's because they start out as blue and then they change to like this reddish green spider when they become adults. That is amazing to watch. And we're feeding her with a grasshopper. I'm gonna make a video on feeders really soon. I'm gonna talk about our banana roaches, what I, how I deal with flies, how I, de how I deal with crickets, fruit flies and all of that. It's probably gonna be pretty long, but I think there's gonna be some interesting things. And next we got our panther mantis she is beautiful so here you guys can see i'm feeding her banana roach this is definitely gonna be one of the subjects of our feeders video because i keep two colonies and basically i got two colonies because i bought them twice and once i bought panchloranivea giants i think it's uh, it is or you know basically the bigger ones and i set up a colony because i didn't feel like feeding them uh, to my spiders or mantis because i just felt you know they're just too pretty so i started one colony that's why i ended up getting the smaller ones and i felt the same way so Basically, I got two colonies right now. They are awesome as feeders because they fly, the adults can fly and they can climb. So even the arboreal species get to them and everybody enjoys them. I mean, look at this mantis. Next is our Australian Huntsman, Holconia. And if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you probably remember that we used to feed it like tiny crickets, fruit flies, and look at that right now, it's a big monster. Not a big monster yet, but it's gonna be a pretty big monster because it is one of the biggest Huntsman in Australia. One of the species of Holconia is the biggest, and I don't know if this one gets to that size. And here you guys can see she, and I'm hoping that actually it's a she. Uh, it's looking awesome, huh? What a badass spider. And I'm gonna add a picture here, and you guys can see she's attached with silk to the leaf above her because because, you know, she's not just holding on to the cork bar with her legs. And here we got GBB, one of my favorite tarantulas and probably the only one that rivals with GBB is Xenestis. And I'm getting new Xenestis next week, I'm super excited. I got my hands on Xenestis species wide lowlands. And next is one of my favorite spiders of all time, Heteropoda David Bowie. It's a huntsman, they're beautiful, they're kind of furry. We end up pairing them. It's pretty interesting to watch. I think it's like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe even a week ago, I don't know. I posted a video of their babies. So we get a bunch of babies right now. Next week they should mold and they should start eating. So I'm super excited about that. So let's watch this huntsman hunt. Bad night. Oi, that was crazy. I remind you of the bad times I've been blinded by the gaslight Next is Abrahipan Mabomi, I'm feeling it with Grasshopper again and it's been followed by Hognalenta White which is a beautiful wolf spider and it's actually white as the name suggests so it's pretty cool for spider I think So here you guys can see her and she's a really good hunter and this is a female. I actually got her, believe it or not, at Petco. And I know there was a conversation about Petco spiders, whether they sell only males or females. And I bought two spiders from Petco, and one was a male and one is this female. And I haven't bought anything since then because, you know, I just found like better places where I can get them and better variety. Oh, she got scared of the fly actually. Oh, yeah. that was pretty cool. Which spider doesn't like a fly, huh? It's like a cat and mouse. Oh no. And next are our assassin bugs, Psitala horrida. I already made a couple of videos on this, but I'm planning another one because we just got some babies. So, And here we're doing a quick maintenance of their enclosure and I decided to tongue feed them as well. You hungry? Yeah, take it. Oh my gosh, you missed it. There you go, yeah, take it. I knew he's hungry. What was it about before? Next is gonna be our segment that I called In Flesh. Are you in? And these are just some really quick clips of cool takedowns, and I'll be back after those to show you some more. So enjoy. <laughs> Need a little gotta take a little edge off when you're turning to a monster. 
비는 이 시로 내 나스가 가시야 Figure this out, oh you're all about and I'm gonna block ya Don't need that gas, no brakes at night I've been haunted by the past nights I remind you of the bad times I've been blinded by the gaslight I've been blinded by the We're gonna feed our Xenestis species blue as I said earlier. I really enjoy these spiders. Yeah, you guys can see this is probably I wanna say three to four inches specimen right now. And look how beautiful it already is. Really, the only downside is their price because they're really expensive, but they are excellent spiders. I really enjoy watching them hunt because they are almost as crazy as their apples as you know those Goliath bird eaters. They would do flips, you know, and stuff like that. So it's just so much fun to watch. Next, we're gonna have our bright palma hamori. And that's our male that we call Nacho. Like I said a million times, he never misses. And yeah guys, he is really accurate when it comes to tongue feeding. I usually like to use the wooden tongs because in case the tarantula misses, they are less likely to injure their uh, fangs. But sometimes for some feeders, I just have to basically use the metal ones because otherwise the feeder would escape. Okay, it's time for Eresus, the velvet spider. We call this one Coco. <laughs> She's a lot of fun to watch. She's really cautious here and I don't know why because usually she's just in and out. I don't know if you guys noticed that but we posted a lot of their feedings and we posted a lot of the footage already and I mentioned it before but they have an interesting way of hunting. They usually first go for limp, antenna or something like that and then they pull the prey closer to them and then they deliver a few bites. She's not really doing it here, you know, but it's really interesting to watch when they do that. Next is Teraposa Stirmi, we call her Randa, like Randa Rousey, because she throws down. These tarantulas grow really big and I wanna say that this is actually the largest spider by mass when they get fully adult. She actually looks like she's gonna molt now anytime, so I'm pretty excited she's gonna get one size bigger and we're probably gonna put her in a bigger enclosure too, because I don't know if you guys watched one of our earlier feeding videos, but this girl, she doesn't mind doing backflips and she jumps and, you know, this is getting a little bit too, too short, this enclosure for her, so we're gonna have to get her something taller so she doesn't jump out on us. Okay, here is our tiny Pamphobitius species Makala. We call this one Makala Kulkin, of course, obviously. <laughs> and uh, it's a cool little sling, it has a cute little pattern. So let's feed it. Yeah, she's gonna be really hungry. I'm hoping that she look at her. She has an amazing feeding response and it's a really pretty spider. I don't think we're gonna see it in this clip too well, but I think she's gonna show us that pattern on her booty, on her abdomen. Let's see, yeah, 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 here it is. Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's like a Christmas tree. So they, ch they lose that when it changes as they grow, so they eventually going to lose it. And I've seen them like two to three inches when they still have it and it looks so cute. This takedown is really exciting because it's one of my favorite huntsmen that I so far haven't had a really good luck with. I'm definitely on the lookout for their babies. If anybody knows who's selling Heteropoda Buai, let me know the leech and huntsmen. They're so cool. So let's watch her because this is one of our biggest huntsmen and she is really secretive. So I was really surprised that she actually came out and she went after the fly. Uh, she's coming out even more. Wow, she's so cool looking. I don't know if you guys can see this, but she has a deformed leg a little bit. She had a bad mold when we first got her. We got her basically, I think, as adult, but she still molded like two times, so I guess not adult, but sub adult. And I really want to keep this species from babies. I just haven't had a chance to get any. Oh, yeah, she's coming out completely. I think she's gonna wow. She is out. That's today we're getting a lot of footage that we normally don't get. I'm surprised. It's only like four o'clock, right? What time is it, Mima? Oi! Oi! This was some insane speed, and she still missed it. Mm -hmm. It's 4:35. Okay, cool. She's missed it. She is hungry this time. She's in a beast mode. Oh, I forgot the red light. Oh, screw the red light right now. Mm. 
That was probably the, one of the fastest attempts I've ever seen. That's insane speed. I could give her probably one of the banana roaches, but I think the, fruit, the soldier fly is gonna be enough for now. Let's see if I can cover the red light. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that was it. She got the fly. Awesome. Awesome. Obviously, it was impossible to catch. <laughs> As her speed is like fast. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, this looks better. So let's watch our female Avicularia Perpera taking down Grasshopper. So let's see if we can. Oh no! <laughs> She's scared! <laughs> oh my gosh! Really? Come on, girl! She's okay, she's coming, she's coming. There you go. Hi, crispy lunch. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the notifications button and hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate every and each one of you. So thank you so much for all of our subscribers. We have really cool notepads. I'm gonna put a link down below it, uh, to our Amazon shop. And we also have some cool t-shirts. You guys may already know we have a line that we call Bugs in Famous Movies. And it's basically as it suggests Bugs in Famous Movies. So we take a poster from famous movies such as E.T. or uh, Fight Club or Raiders of a Lost Ark and we put one of our favorite species of spiders or mantids there instead of the actors so instead of just having a Brad Pitt you're gonna have an RS species Valkyrie I think that is so much better no <laughs> I'm just joking Brad Pitt's awesome one more thing if you guys like my head we have these on our website spidercafe.shop and we also have these t-shirts it says do not disturb and it's a little boy basically taking a picture of a spider this is for those days when you guys are out and you're taking macro pictures and people are coming up to you and asking you oh, what are you doing what are you doing and you just not feeling it <laughs> so this t-shirt is perfect for that all right guys i hope you enjoy this one i'll see you soon all right ciao keep all your game as and lost as and lost it's all the same as and lost as and lost keep all your game as and lost as and lost So the same, as and lost, as and lost.